postgraduate medicine, most of our students are in active clinical practice as healthcare professionals. So they might be uh, general practitioners or obstetricians or paediatricians. Our second important student group, however, might be science graduates who are interested in cell and tissue engineering, maybe they're laboratory technicians or healthcare scientists. What they all have in common is what postgraduate study can add to their professional competence. We're looking at learners who can uh, critically reflect on the literature, who can synthesize elements of the research into their practice, and those skills are the same whether your professional practice is clinical or lab-based. So on the Masters of Cell and Tissue Engineering, what we offer is we offer a broad overview of the relevant topics to the developing field of cell and tissue engineering with encompassing aspects of regenerative medicine and stem cell biology. In doing that we provide overviews or broad scopes over a number of modules which are specifically tailored to the requirements of the developing marketplace. These include stem cell biology where we cover embryonic stem cells, adult stem cells and all the different aspects of stem cells different types and their characterization aspects and we talk about what's real, what's in the marketplace and what you need to know. We then move on to another relevant topic in the regenerative medicine field which is cell and tissue engineering. How do we turn different types of stem cells into different types of tissues? Um, all of these modules, to use those two as examples, have relevant practical experience. You will culture stem cells yourselves, you will, you will perform differentiation assays, you will learn how to quantify those assays, and you will develop transferable tools to take forward with you into the marketplace. MSc in Biomedical Engineering and Cell and Tissue Engineering, they both run parallelly in the same research centre and they're divided into three semesters. So we do a variety of uh, modules in the first two semesters and the third semester is entirely for a research project that uh, we choose individually what we are interested in. The Bioreactor course is uh, unique in the UK. Um, we set it up about uh, six or seven years ago so we've had a lot of experience of running it and um, it is really the only opportunity um, in the UK for studying this type of technology. Um, another aspect of the course is that of course by getting some sort of hands-on experience in this short course you then have an opportunity to follow through in the practical aspect of the Masters where you can maybe look at some of these technologies, you can look at designing new technologies but also growing tissues within the bioreactors could be a central focus of one of your projects within the Masters programme and that's quite unique to Kiel because we have this array of bioreactors which um, are available to the students. It means you can come here and learn about this particular technologies um, in, in the home of where they've been developed. Kiel is, um, I mean you've, you've got a large international body of students combined with uh, a well-renowned research body, um, the academic staff, the research staff, they're, they're some of the best in their, in their field. The research staff um, and academic staff in particular, like they're so helpful and they're really, really good at kind of explaining what it is that you need to do. I mean, you're, you're not spoon-fed, but at the same time you're, you're given direction and, and you're motivated to do whatever it is you need to do, basically. Another important aspect of our syllabus delivery is the quality of teaching that we offer. The research on musculoskeletal health, musculoskeletal disorders and musculoskeletal disease within Keele University was ranked in the top 10% by the Department of Health in the UK. We believe this puts us at a good, a good advantage in offering you a good quality of teaching delivery from staff who are qualified to do so. During many of our modules, whilst we have significant expertise on site and a worldwide reputation to accompany that, we try to encourage teaching to be sourced from the best places. To meet that obligation to you, the student, we bring in speakers from a number of different sources and from out with their own institutions. This includes um, speakers from the Human Tissue Authority to speak to you about regulation, speakers from the UK Stem Cell Bank to speak to you about the control of working with stem cells in the UK, and indeed many other 
guest lecturers to speak on topics as diverse as cancer stem cells through to cartilage tissue engineering. Well, for me, the, the best bit of my course um, was actually conducting the research itself. Although there's introductory modules and so on that, that introduce you and, and explain the, the various aspects of cell and tissue engineering. For me, at least, it was until I got into the labs and actually started conducting research at staff that it all became clear and everything came together. Um, and it was stressful at times, but at the same time, it was, it was really, really interesting and it was actually quite enjoyable to come in and, and spend every day in the labs. And you're, you're doing different things all the time, but by the end of it, you can see why you've done all the various different things throughout the research. And once it all comes together at the end, it's, you know, it's, it's something to be proud of. Yeah, Stoke itself is, is actually really, um, it's a nice place to be. It's, I mean, everybody, one thing that I was surprised when I first came over here was just how friendly everybody is. Uh, life in Stoke is really good. There's something for everybody's needs and everybody's choice. We've got a number of pubs where people can just go for grab a drink, go with friends, have dinner. There are lots of shops, you get everything possible, clothes, shoes, and then, then we have an amusement park close by, there's a water park close by, and the train station is close by and you can get a train to anywhere around the UK. It's really convenient and it's a, it's a quiet place so for people who don't like too much noise and too many people. So it's, it's, I think it's good for everybody's needs and it, I, I just love the place. The setting for healthcare of the future is likely to be very different from the one in which we trained. And in postgraduate medicine, we're very keen to support and develop healthcare practitioners for the future. We're particularly interested in developing lifelong learners who can adapt to change and lead service developments. Uh, I think the postgraduate course was worth every penny because we got to learn so much more. I didn't even expect learning so much. It, the course structure is so well set that you don't feel the burden, you yet you get to learn so much more. And I got to experience a variety of fields of medicine, of research, of the technical bit. So I got to learn and experience a lot of things. And we even got, you know, we got done. Uh, we had a few classes in the hospitals. We got to meet patients and had classes there. We had research work, so we did some lab work. So I think the course is well prepared, and I think it's worth every penny. Um, I spent quite a lot of time looking at different institutions and um, different courses and so on. And over the course of a couple of months, Kiel kept on jumping out at me. It was well known. It was well renowned for its medical sciences and, and its medical research and so on. And it is, it's, its facilities and its, its staff are second to none really. It's, it's, it's one of the best institutions and I, I would highly recommend it. I'm, I'm very, very happy that I, I chose Kiel out of any other institute. And I, I hope to continue actually studying at Kiel, so it, it's, worked, it's worked well for me.